Hey guys, and welcome back to the Five Awesome Geeks. I'm your Wednesday Geek, Brit. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, yeah, so my life has not been great uh, the last month, uh, and so unfortunately, YouTube actually became kind of that thing that I just didn't want to do anymore for a minute. And luckily, I had pre recorded a bunch of stuff on my personal channel, so my personal channel was taken care of. Um, but I had some pretty serious changes in my personal life, and um, I'm not dealing with them well. <laughs> so, we're just going to get through this video, and hopefully I can start making videos every week again. So here we go. Whew. So this week we are talking about movies, and uh, those of you who are unaware, I actually studied film history and criticism and theory, technically, in college. Um, and I loved every second of it. I did. I love movies. <laughs> I'm a big Disney nerd, and so basically Disney movies. I love most of them. I don't love all of them, but I do love most of them, and they are all fantastic. Um, the ones I love. My favorite being The Lion King. One of my favorite directors, and I actually did my senior thesis, thesis, my senior paper, um, on this director was uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Rear Window is probably still to this day my favorite uh, Alfred Hitchcock film. I love Rear Window. I think it's fantastic. I love the Marx Brothers. So the first time I watched the Marx Brothers film was actually, I think it was in film history, one of my film history classes. And, and it was funny because when the when they, when they it was done, the professor gets up in front of the class and he goes, so how, how is everybody feeling right now? And I raised my hand and I'm like, I am feeling like super euphoric. Like I am in such a good mood that I... I just want to wake up every morning and watch a Marx Brothers movie if this is how they make me feel. And uh, then another guy in the class goes, I'm really pissed off. Uh, so it turns out the Marx Brothers, you either love them or you hate them. Uh, I happen to love them. I actually own a good portion of their movies uh, in a one little, like this one big box set that I found at Half Price Books. And so I love it. And I love the Marx Brothers. And I do. I still want to get to a point where I'm just watching kind of their movies every morning and I might actually start doing that here coming up because, again, my my personal life has taken such a such a nasty turn um, that it just it's not it's not fun. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Yeah, you know when it comes to movies, I tend to like older comedies. One of my favorite genres of film is actually called the screwball comedy. It is what eventually kind of became the romantic comedy, but they're 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 different. They're slightly different. Um, if you want a really good uh, screwball comedy to watch, Bringing Up Baby. Philadelphia Story, What's Up Doc, and then one of the more recent ones that is technically considered screwball comedy, um, though it kind of fits more in that romantic comedy. If you remember The Proposal with Ryan Reynolds and Sandra Bullock, that's technically um, a screwball comedy. It's still technically a romantic comedy, but it has a lot of screwball um, kind of tendencies to it, so it's fantastic. But I could sit here and talk about movies for hours, and I don't have that kind of uh, memory on my card at the moment. So I'm going to leave it off here. I will see you guys all next week, hopefully. And Dylan, we'll see you tomorrow. And because it's still my thing, boop. Bye.